The use of artists' content to train AI models without consent has become an emerging issue, leading to legal and ethical debates. Artists, authors, and publishers have raised concerns about the unauthorized use of their copyrighted works to train AI systems, leading to potential copyright infringement and a loss of control over their creative content. This practice has sparked lawsuits and calls for greater transparency and consent in the use of such materials for AI training. The issue has also extended to the publishing industry, where authors have expressed dismay upon discovering that their books were used without permission to train generative AI systems, raising questions about the ethical and legal implications of such practices. Legal experts and AI practitioners have highlighted the complex nature of AI copyright and fair use, emphasizing the lack of clarity regarding the use of copyright-protected data to train AI models. While fair use is considered a strong defense for AI companies, concerns persist regarding the potential violation of copyright when AI outputs closely resemble the work of specific creators. In response to these concerns, efforts have been made to address the issue, such as the establishment of a non-profit organization that certifies AI models only using copyrighted training data with permission. This initiative aims to provide certifications to AI companies that adhere to ethical and legal standards in sourcing training data, including obtaining consent from copyright holders. University of Chicago researchers have developed a tool called Nightshade to address the issue of AI art generators being trained on artists' content without consent. Nightshade is designed to poison AI art generators by altering training data in a way that causes the AI to misidentify objects within images. For example, the tool can be used to subtly modify an image of a dog so that an AI model generates a cat instead. This poisoning attack aims to empower artists and publishers to protect their work from unauthorized use in training AI models. The tool builds upon the researcher's prior work with Glaze, another tool designed to alter digital artwork in a manner that confuses AI. Nightshade represents a significant development in the ongoing efforts to empower artists and creators in the face of the growing influence of AI art generators. The term Nightshade has a mysterious and ominous connotation, often associated with its potentially toxic properties and its historical use in witchcraft and mythology. In antiquity, deadly nightshade was allegedly associated with the cult of Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and ecstasy, and was rumored to have been used to induce a trance in worshippers. It also features in the myth of Odysseus, with legend suggesting that his men were poisoned with nightshade and transformed into pigs by the witch Circe. Additionally, in the times of the Roman Empire, deadly nightshade was rumored to have been used for poisoning and as a tool of warfare. The term nightshade is also used to refer to a genus of herbs, shrubs, and trees, including some poisonous weeds, various ornamentals, and important crop plants such as the potato and eggplant. At the core of nightshade's innovation is a sophisticated technique designed to disrupt the learning process of AI models, particularly those used in generative AI, Gen AI, for creating digital artwork. The fundamental mechanism of Nightshade revolves around confusing AI algorithms by altering the correspondence between images and their descriptive texts, which are crucial for AI training. Nightshade operates by making subtle alterations to digital images at the pixel level. These changes, while nearly imperceptible to the human eye, significantly distort the way AI models perceive and interpret the content of these images. This misalignment introduces errors into the AI training process, leading to incorrect or nonsensical outputs when the AI is later tasked with generating images based on textual descriptions. To illustrate the effectiveness of Nightshade, consider a comparison between its poison samples and the results from standard Gen AI tools. In a standard scenario, an AI model trained on unaltered images would correctly associate images with their respective texts such as generating an image of a dog when prompted with the word dog. However, with Nightshade's intervention, the same AI model might produce an image of a cat instead when given the same prompt. This mismatch showcases the tool's ability to protect artists' work by rendering it unusable for unauthorized AI training purposes. Professor Ben Zhao, the leading figure behind Nightshade, has emphasized the ethical dimensions of this technological intervention. He states, 
I would like to bring about a world where AI has limits, AI has guardrails, AI has ethical boundaries that are enforced by tools like Nightshade. Zhao's vision underscores the importance of developing AI technologies responsibly, ensuring that they respect artists' rights and the integrity of their work. Nightshade's approach is proactive, meaning it prevents future misuse of artists' work by AI models. However, it cannot alter the training or outcomes of AI models that have already been fed with unmodified images. This means that any AI tool that has previously trained on an artist's work without alterations can continue to generate similar works, unaffected by Nightshade's protective measures. This limitation underscores a significant challenge in the battle against unauthorized use of digital art, the difficulty in addressing past infringements. One prominent case is against the Andy Warhol Foundation, where the U.S. Supreme Court is considering the extent to which a piece of art needs to be transformed from its source material to be considered transformative. The outcome of this case, along with others, could have significant implications for AI-generated works and the use of pre-existing art in AI training. A ruling that restricts the use of copyrighted material without explicit consent could bolster the effectiveness of tools like Nightshade by reinforcing legal protections for artists. In conclusion, while Nightshade is a groundbreaking tool in protecting artists' rights against the unauthorized use of their work in AI training, its effectiveness is somewhat limited by its inability to impact already trained AI models and the evolving legal landscape. The outcomes of ongoing legal cases will be critical in shaping the future of AI-generated works and the protection of artists' copyrights. But there are also several other tools and techniques that artists can use to protect their work from AI scraping. Some of these include Watermarking images Watermarking images can help deter bots from scraping images and can also help artists track down their images if they are used without permission. Tagging artwork Tagging artwork can make it more difficult for large AI training sets to correctly evaluate and use the artwork, potentially making it less attractive for unauthorized use in training AI models. Using a WordPress plugin to block bots, for artists with portfolios running on WordPress, there are plugins available that attempt to block bots in their tracks, such as Kuduru, which uses a computer network to watch for AI scraper bots and adds their IP addresses to a ban list. These methods can frustrate and often stymie AI's attempts to steal artists' photos, illustrations, paintings, and other art. However, it's important to note that while these tools and techniques can help protect against AI scraping, they may also create limitations that affect how human users appreciate and interact with the artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this, and leave a comment to let us know your opinion about tools like Nightshade AI. See you in the next video.